Marty Schwartz here from Marty Music. Uh, once again, it's Thursday, and it's time for another one of my Thursday gear videos, 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 videos. Ah, anyway, um, this gear video is covering what the type of effect that's called an envelope filter, sometimes referred to as an auto wah. So it's giving you that wah wah mouthy vocal kind of effect, but this time it's automated. So what you have to do is create your filter. So the one that I'm using, I've had forever. Uh, it's an MXR envelope filter from the 70s. I don't actually know what year it is. You can see that the the decals, the, the, the paint and everything's been completely worn off. So it's got that vintage look. Even one of the knobs has uh, got a little chip out of it. But uh, I'll just pretend that it's from 1977. Why not? So it gives you that, you know, it's great for that funky sound. Obviously, I was going for a Jerry Garcia sound there in the intro. So with the envelope filter or the auto wah, basically you've got two knobs. And on this MXR, uh, the one on the left is called threshold. The one on the right is called attack, I believe. And they're real touchy. I know a lot of people that have tried to get that, that right sound, and it's very finicky. So... I'm gonna explain how I go about getting that kind of Jerry Garcia sound, but it's also great for that funk, 70s funk kind of thing. And it's just great to mix up your playing with, with a cool sound like that. I love it. As long as I don't overuse it, it's really great. So you look down at the pedal there, and I've got a little setting. Uh, something that I find works for the envelope filter the best is the bridge pickup. Any, any other effect that you add into the Ottawa is gonna change the, the effect of that Ottawa envelope filter. So let me show you my concept with getting the sound. Here's the sound. So that's the sound natural. But um, I'm gonna go down there and what I like to do is I like to put knobs, EQs, volumes, whatever, especially with pedals, I like to put them at 12 o'clock and then I adjust. What I found with the envelope filter is that basically I start them, the best success I've had is starting them both at 12 o'clock and then moving them both at the same time outward until I get the desired effect. And obviously you can keep experimenting, but that's what I've been able to do. So I'm gonna do that live right now and you can see if I can come up with a, with a sound. So let's go for it. Bye. <laughs> 
So that was the envelope filter, sometimes known as the Ottawa, and most specifically the MXR envelope filter from the 70s. I'm just going to pretend it's from 1977. That's the year Star Wars came out, so why not disco time, right? Um, anyway, it's a great pedal. A lot of people compare it to uh, the Mutron or Mutron, Mutron pedal, which I think is what Jerry used a lot of the time I could be wrong on that but the Mutron is multiple hundreds of dollars you know four hundred dollars five hundred dollars I just looked yesterday right before I filmed this video on this per, this exact same pedal was for sale for hundred and fifty dollars on reverb.com there was like three or four of them I almost bought one myself because mine's pretty beat up so it's a nice affordable pedal and as you could hear the sound it makes I think is really cool and fun so Thanks again for hanging out. Uh, every Thursday is another gear video here at Marty Music. Thanks for the continued support. Got tons of brand spanking new videos coming your way almost every day. So thanks again, and uh, we'll see you in another video soon. Take care.